Hello everyone, you are in Endurance Laser Lab. In this video I want to show you how you may engrave on aluminum, steel and aluminum plate uh, with our 10 watt endurance laser installed on a DIY Alex Maker machine. So first of all let's engrave on this nice lifting table. Uh, so you can uh, see it. it's a lifting table. I always recommend to use it uh, To remain in focus. So first of all, we need to focus our our laser So uh, I run the bandbox software. I turn on uh, low light and now uh, I need to wear goggles uh, you need to wear goggles all the time, but for this uh, thing you need to in to change the height so it's very easy so uh, I'm going to, to adjust it something like this and it's very easy to see in in red or green goggles a small small uh, spot so right now it looks like it's small I uh, can actually show you in different ESO level so you can yeah, it's reflecting so probably you won't see it but uh, it, it looks uh, pretty small now uh, we don't use any paste and uh, let me also move it a little bit upper so you can see it a little bit better okay and I use a bandbox software a version 3.799 uh, engraving speed is 100 so uh, let's start and uh, probably if I add a filter, a red filter, so you'll see it a little bit better, like this. Okay, and uh, let me also try with a little bit different speed. Uh, I'll move it to another place. And uh, the speed is 50. And uh, let's engrave once again. I just want to make sure that uh, you'll see the difference between those two engravings. We use G2 lens, uh, it looks like this, many, many of you ask about G2 lens, so it's a good thing for laser engraving, it's golden one, looks like this, but this one is, is uh, damaged, um, it was overheated and it's burned a little bit, but uh, yes, I recommend everyone to use G2 lens for accurate and nice uh, laser engraving. Okay, let's see what we get here. Okay, we see I, I made a few circles before, so you can see that uh, those down, down, down here, these two. So you can probably see no difference between speed of 100 and uh, 50. Okay, so uh, we've done our first part. Let's uh, engrave on steel. Uh, we had this uh, steel, it's not stainless, it's regular steel. We did this on our DPSS 10 watt uh, infrared laser. And uh, this is what we got before. So let's uh, take this empty uh, spot and let's make some, some engravings. Once, once again, I need to focus the laser. So I did turn on uh, low light. And I want to make sure that the spot is very, very tiny. So this uh, probably looks like this. And we'll make a few experiments with different speed. Okay, let's start with 50. Maybe even... Yeah, and then we'll decrease it to... Oops. Uh, I missed it a little bit. Okay, let's do this. Yeah, it's pretty hard to, to find the best uh, place where you start with um, um, with bend box. You never know where we have a starting point and also with the red filter you can see. So this is a little bit... Okay, let me see. Yeah, I can see the result, but let's uh, decrease the speed to 25 and... Uh, Okay, yes, let's let's engrave another one. Another one. Yeah, so this is a pure pure steel. Like I said, it's not stainless, so it's not polished, but uh, uh, should be fine. And uh, yeah, I just want to make sure what we get at the end. Also, 
you can add filter. I have green, oops, sorry, I had green filter as well. But a red works good. So many of you ask what the difference between red goggles and green goggles. Actually, you can see no, no difference. Um, they both work well. Uh, and uh, but also stay safe if you have an enclosure. So probably these for this machine, I would recommend you to make a big enclosure uh, to make sure that. Uh, okay, so we can see it here. Okay. They're quite accurate. Probably if you make it's like one pass. Probably if you make like two passes, uh, will be even even better. And but looks good. So two two circles. So one is so this one is 50 speed, and here is 25. And one uh, the last thing I want to show you this day. It's aluminum plate. I made these experiments quite a long time before. So let's uh, draw circles here. Once again, we need to focus it because uh, the height is different. Okay, and once again. Okay, so I think that we got it here. Okay. You can hear noise. Okay, and let's do speed. Okay, let's start with 250. Okay. Oops, sorry, it was 25. Uh, it's a special settings that you need to make when you engrave using Benbox. Uh, you need to reset the speed all the time. It's not just simply changing it. So I'm sorry, this speed is 25, but uh, and next one will be uh, 250. So 10, 10 times faster. Let's see what we get here. Yeah, very very accurate and tiny. Uh, laser spot. So with G2 lens, you can get a very, very, very small and thin uh, laser cutting and laser engraving. It's closer to 150, 0, 015 microns or millimeter. Actually, sorry, not microns, uh, millimeter. So it's uh, it's very, very tiny. It's 150 microns. Okay, we get it here. Speed is one uh, twenty-five, and let let's make another experiment with a speed two fifty. Okay, yeah, it's ma making some noise. Yeah, that's the same result. Maybe even even better. So. Yeah, so no paste, no chemicals, and quite accurate laser engravings on metals. So I showed you how you can engrave uh, on different metals without any special chemical paste, just with endurance 10 watt laser. So if you wanna, um, if you have any questions, let me know, and you're also welcome to post it in our Facebook group and email me at uh, gf at endurancerobots.com or text me plus seven. Uh, 916 225 for 302 and have a wonderful laser engraving with endurance. Bye bye.